Hello there, senior high school learners. Welcome to Blue Rizal TV. This academic year has been an extraordinary one, and I'm so excited to bring you once again into this thrilling world of fun and learning. Welcome to Disciplines and Ideas in the Applied Social Sciences. I am Ma'am Armin Rose Concepcion, your teacher and your guide for this adventure. Before we continue our lesson today, let me just give you first the things that we have to accomplish and learn. At the end of the lesson, students are expected to clarify the relationships and differences between social sciences and applied social sciences. What is social science? Social sciences are the disciplines concerned with the systematic study of social phenomena. Social science is the branch of science that deals with the institutions, the functioning of human society, and the interpersonal relationships of humans as members of society. The disciplines of social sciences that were discussed last semester were anthropology, economics, sociology, political science, history, psychology, geography, and linguistics. Let's have a little game first. Guess the job in the following pictures I will show. I will give you five seconds for each picture. The answer for the first picture is counselor. Here's the second picture. The answer for the second picture is policeman or police. Here is the third picture. The answer for the third picture is teacher. Here's the fourth picture. The answer for the fourth picture is radio or TV anchor. And finally, here's the last picture. The answer for the last picture is judge. So this was an easy game. I'm sure a lot of you got most of the answers correctly. All the jobs that I showed you can be classified under applied social sciences. Now let us learn what is applied social science. Applied social science is an integrated science cutting across and transcending various social science disciplines in addressing a wide range of issues in a contemporary, innovative, and dynamic way. Applied social science is a broad field that draws on different theories and perspectives and combines these with practice drawn from different social science disciplines to highlight the complexity of social issues. There are many disciplines in applied social sciences. For this semester, we will be focusing on three of these disciplines, guidance and counseling, social work, and communication. But there are other disciplines in applied social sciences, like advertising and public relations, community organization, criminology, education, law, public health, and public administration and governance. Communication provides accessibility to information and thereby serves the rights of an individual and the public to be informed and to be heard by their elders and communities. Counseling provides healing, courage, and strength for an individual to face his or her issues and take up the best possible options in moments of life crises. Social work promotes social change problem solving in human relationships, and the empowerment and liberation of people to enhance their holistic well-being. Why do we need the social sciences? It's because they generate knowledge in an organic way for evidence-based actions and solutions to social problems and issues. They cause social sciences to do things rather than just remain the source of factual knowledge. They generate practical solutions to complex social problems. And finally, the provision of knowledge by social science to 
becomes the moral basis for applied social science to address social problems and issues. The social sciences and applied social science practitioners have played a key role in the creation of opinionated persons and an opinionated society on almost all issues of public interest. In some areas, however, the public has developed a skeptical attitude towards social sciences and applied social science practitioners, largely due to their inability to provide formidable solutions to social problems. Unlike applied sciences like medicine and engineering that have concrete technologies to cure diseases and create various products, applied social science have no one solution to any one problem because people and societies from different places and different historical periods need remarkably different solutions and approaches to their problems. There are also public perceptions to specific applied social sciences. For example, media practitioners tend to be perceived as biased and confusing, and therefore unreliable. Social workers have been perceived as purely distributors of relief goods during calamities. And people rarely willingly go to counselors because there is a stigma that is connected to the visit reflecting on one's poor behavior or mental health. The goal of this subject is to give you a clear understanding of these disciplines so these negative perceptions can be cleared up and for you, the humanities and social science students, to make informed choices about your future field of study. Social sciences and applied social sciences are connected to each other in the following ways. Social sciences are more specific and focused on a distinct facet of the social phenomenon while applied social sciences attempts to focus on a distinct issue but use insights arising from various social science disciplines. When social science theories, concepts, methods, and findings gain application to problems identified in a wider society, then applied social science is achieved. I hope you have gained a clearer understanding of applied social sciences. Now it's time for you to make a reflection. Among the jobs discussed today, which one do you think you would like to have someday? What characteristics and competencies do you think you have that will make you effective in that job? Think about that and write it down. And as we go through the lessons, go back to your list and see if they align with your preferred discipline. The following are the reference materials used in the creation of this video. No copyright infringement is intended. The ideas discussed in this lesson are based on the content standards of the Department of Education. Once again, I am your teacher for today, Armin Rose Concepcion. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.